You know the danger about your imagination? You tell it to the wrong people. That's the danger. You want to kill a big dream? Tell it to a small-minded person. A small-minded person is somebody who doesn't think that big in life, hence small-minded. A small-minded person is a person who thinks that average living is the ideal lifestyle for not only him or her, but for everybody. And if somebody who has a big dream comes to them with that dream or that big idea, that small-minded person will pick out the negative and the, and the, the, the cons of that dream, which in result causes that big-minded person to think small like them. Now, it's important for us big dreamers, big dream chasers, to choose who we tell our dreams to. It's important for us to surround ourselves with people who will support our dreams, who will think the same mindset like us, who would think big like us. And it's important for us to understand that not everybody is going to agree with us. Now, let me give you an idea of what a small-minded person sounds like or what he or she thinks. Okay, so if you go to that person and tell them that you have a idea of running a restaurant or opening up a business, here's what they will say. You sure you want to do that? You know it's going to be hard, so you might want to reconsider opening up a business. You don't even have the finances to open up that business. You're not even business material. I can't even see you as an entrepreneur. You don't even have experience. And many more and many more statements and condescending questions and assumptions about you. That's how that small, that small minded person would sound like. And here's the catch to that. If you're not careful, if you're not mentally strong enough to, to disregard what they're saying about you and your idea, then you will begin to register what they're saying into your mind and you will say, you know what, you're right, so screw the idea or screw everything, I'll just stick with this average lifestyle. No, don't do that. Go after what you wanna go after. I keep repeating that so many times in my, in my motivational videos, but it's important that you keep sticking to your plans or dreams. But you got to be careful on who you tell your dreams to because now that small-minded person is going to go back to another small-minded person and tell them what you told them. You know, this person XYZ told me that he wants to run a business in a restaurant industry. Now that person is going to reach out to you and say, hey, ABC told me about this restaurant idea. Yeah, that person is right. You shouldn't do it because, you know, as much as we've known you for years, you're not business, but you're not business material, and it takes such a long time. So I tried doing it myself, and it didn't work out. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to work out for you. You got to be careful on who you tell your ideas to, because you may be mentally strong, but if you're not careful, that negative that negative energy from a small-minded person is going to come back to you, and it's going to drain your energy, and it's going to cause you to give up on all that you want to do. So it's important for you to stay away from small-minded people because they're not gonna bring you no type of inspiration whatsoever. You have to know who's there for you and who's not really there for you. You have to know who's gonna support you no matter what and who's just gonna point out the difficulty in every opportunity that comes your way. Just remember, like I always say this in every single one of my videos, you have the capability and the power to, you know, accomplish your goals. There's nothing in this world that can stop you except either you or a small-minded person. If I was you, I would always keep reminding myself that I have what it takes to become successful. I don't care what a small-minded person says. I don't care what a negative person says. 
That's what they think. What they think of me or my dreams doesn't have anything to do with what I know about myself and what I know about what I'm capable of accomplishing in life. So stay focused. You know, if you're if you're a man watching this video, be a king. Be a king. Build build your kingdom. Rule, lead, inspire, motivate. Be a king. And if you're a woman, be a queen. Be the queen that God has created you to be. And for a man, you know, be a king that God has created you to be. That God has created you to be. God bless you.